It's interesting how Linux distributions continue to evolve to meet the needs of gamers and creators, and two of the most talked about ones lately are Nobara Linux and Bazite. But even though they share a similar purpose, their approach and target users set them apart in some fascinating ways. Nobara Linux was created by Thomas Kreider, better known as Glorious Eggroll, a developer who also contributes to Proton GE. It's based on Fedora, but with a lot of quality of life improvements out of the box. The main idea behind Nobara is simple. Take the solid foundation of Fedora and make it more accessible to everyday users, especially gamers and content creators who want things to just work. Instead of having to manually install drivers, codecs, and gaming tools, Nobara comes preloaded with them. It includes NVIDIA and AMD drivers, OBS Studio with plugins, and gaming utilities like Lutris and Steam configured right from the start. Performance-wise, Nobara aims for stability and efficiency rather than heavy customization. The kernel is tweaked slightly for better gaming responsiveness, and it integrates tools like Wine and DXVK for smooth running of Windows titles. What really makes it appealing is how it balances simplicity with performance. Users can dive into advanced customization if they want, but they don't have to. Nobara removes the friction that usually comes with setting up Fedora for gaming and creative work, making it ideal for people who want a plug-and-play Linux experience. Bazite, on the other hand, takes a more modern approach to how Linux systems should be managed and updated. It's built on Universal Blue's image-based Fedora Atomic architecture, meaning updates are handled atomically, which drastically reduces the risk of breaking your system. The concept is somewhat similar to what SteamOS or Silverblue does. Your core system stays read-only, and all user changes happen in containers or overlays. This design makes Bazite incredibly stable and perfect for users who want a gaming or media setup that never falls apart after an update. Bazite also focuses heavily on integration with Steam Deck and desktop environments optimized for gaming. It supports features like Game Mode, Mango HUD, and FSR right out of the box. Plus, it comes with pre-installed Flatpak support, ensuring apps remain sandboxed and easy to update. When comparing the two, Nobara feels more traditional. It gives users flexibility with a familiar Linux structure, while Bazite leans toward a more modern, immutable system. In the end, it really comes down to whether you prefer a classic, customizable experience or a sleek, stable, next-gen setup.